Hey, welcome to another episode in this series on energy. I'm Mr. Salagaris, and in this episode, we're going to discuss energy conversions and devices that transform energy. So devices that use energy are all around us, and many use energy in different ways. The devices we are surrounded with often use one type of energy and change it into another to perform the function it was designed for. So for example, a TV uses electrical energy and converts it into other energy forms such as sound and light. The energy that is required by the device to work is known as input energy. Um, this is the initial source of energy used by the device. So for example, the TV, the input energy is electrical energy. The energy that is being produced by the device is known as output energy. Once again, for the TV, this is heard as sound or viewed as light and felt as heat. The types of energy which are involved in the functioning of devices are known as useful energy. The useful energy for, for the TV example are the sound and light energy as these are what the TV is designed to produce. However, not all output energy is useful. If you place your hands near the back of a TV screen, uh, you'll notice that it's warm. This is because in the process involved in making the TV work, electrical energy is converted and some of it is wasted as heat. Devices which change input energy into a different output energy are known as energy converters or transformers. Okay, so let's sum it up. Devices can convert energy from one form to another so that they can perform the function that it was designed for. Think of a TV. Input energy is the energy that goes into the device and it uses it to produce something. Output energy is the energy that is given out by the device and output energy can be useful or wasted. Okay, so a lot of information to take in. Remember, watch it again if you need. Okay, so stay tuned for the next episode on the law of conservation of energy. View the playlist for, playlist for other videos in this series on energy.